I am dreading this video. I have put this video off and put this video off and put it off and procrastinated for as long as I could because I don't actually want to clean up this closet. Like I don't. But you guys can see this video is a closet clean up. Disclaimer, make sure that you grab something to drink. Coffee, tea, whatever you need. I'm drinking water, hopefully no one's drinking this much coffee. Whatever you need to do right now, your taxes, your laundry, clean. This is your sign to do it. This is your sign. You can put me on in the background and girl, we can get through this together because I don't want to be doing this shit either. Wait, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This, kudos to those of you who can do it in 24 hours or less, good for you. I know for a fact this will take me longer than 24 hours. So just be ready for the long haul, you guys, be ready. So if you've never been inside of my closet before, a welcome to my little dressing room. Now, I live in a condo, a two bedroom condo, and this unit was listed as a walk-in closet. To me, it's not necessarily a walk-in closet, it's more of like a dressing room because I have my vanity sink in here. And if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you already know this, but I have my vanity sink in here. My bathroom is behind this door right here. So to me, it's not necessarily a walk-in closet. It's more of like a glam room, I call it, or like a dressing room with three closets within the dressing room. So I have a closet here that's big, a closet behind you guys that's a double closet as well and then this small closet right behind me so the closet behind you guys is the one we're going to be mainly focusing on today that is my accessories closet I keep all of my bags shoes earrings jewelry uh, all that type of stuff belts just like random accessory stuff in there I also have a bin of hats that I keep in my other closet that I want to move to my accessories closet so I've already pulled that out onto the floor and I'm probably gonna start with that bin up first you guys also anything that I end up decluttering here I will try to post up on my Poshmark or my Macari It'll most likely be up on Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace for you guys to purchase if you're interested in purchasing it. Sometimes if it doesn't sell, I do end up putting it back into my collection if I just don't want to waste it, you know, because I did spend money on it. So I will always post it on Poshmark first to see if I can get rid of it that way. And then if I don't sell it that way and I can't find any use out of it, I will donate it to a charity. I'm going to have a pile of yes, a pile of no, and a pile of maybe. When it comes to my clothes, I am not going to be trying on every single item yes I know a lot of people do that because they want to show you what's in their closet I'm not gonna be doing that kudos to those of you who can try on every single piece in a video but th that would take me a month to actually film and edit and put together for you guys so I'm gonna be a little bit more of a realist I'm gonna be sharing and trying on the items that I feel like I'm not sure about and I'm sorry if you dolls came here to see like me trying on every single item in my closet. I, you know, I thought to, at first I was going to do that. I was like, you know what? It's going to be cool to like try on every single item in my closet. And then I was like, are you crazy? Like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> so that's just not realistic and it's not going to be very good use of my time. So yeah, I'm going to start out with the accessories closet. And like I said, if you guys are interested in purchasing anything that you see here that I say I'm getting rid of, check my Poshmark or my Facebook marketplace. If oh, I'm scared. 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 I don't want to do it. <laughs> Okay, girls, so it's time to get to work. So here is the bin that I want to put inside of the accessories closet behind you guys. I got the bin from, where did I get this bin from? I got it from either Ross or Burlington. I can't remember. Y'all know the places I shop, but it was like Ross or Burlington. And it was in like the little kids section. So it was cheaper than the normal bin section, which is a tip for you pink girlies out there. Like, look in a little, don't be afraid to look in the kids section. Don't be afraid to look in the little girls section because you can find some really cute stuff. So I found this one bin and it has all of the hats in here. Well, you know what, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's not all of my hats because I do have a coat closet by my front door that I share with my roommate. So those hats in there though are more practical hats that I wear like all the time, every day, like when I go on my runs and stuff like that. I will go ahead and declutter that as well and show you guys. I'll bring it in here and show you guys. But these hats are more so my fashion hats. So I'm going to be decluttering these right now. 
So the first hat I have is this hat. Y'all, it's really pretty. It has like rhinestone butterflies over it and I have not worn this hat not once. I haven't worn this hat one time. Maybe I have tried it on because I can see makeup stains right here, but girl, I have not worn this hat. I am a sucker for like baseball caps, but I feel like I only like the sporty kind. Like I love Nike brand and Puma, like that's fine. But like these kind, I don't really wear these. I don't know why I picked it up because I know I don't like a buckle strap in the back. And I also don't like a snap in the back. I like Velcro. So I don't know what I was thinking. I think it was just cute and I grabbed it and I think I was thinking I could wear this to the beach. And it is cute. I'm not gonna try it on because obviously my hair right now, but it is cute for like something that you could wear to the beach. You know what I mean? I don't think I would like style this out, like wear this as a style out on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like it's giving very much auntie vibes. I don't know, it's like giving auntie with the wine. You know what I mean? with the bud like cooler i don't know it's just giving auntie vibes and i just feel like it's something you could wear to a beach like either snooky or auntie i don't know or craft girly i don't know but it's just not something i feel like i would style with any of my outfits so this is kind of a maybe i feel like i could use this for the beach but then I feel like I should just get rid of it because I haven't used it. But I'm one of those people who will get rid of it and then be at five below looking for something just like this when I need to go to the beach. So I'm like, should I just keep it? Let's just put this in the maybe pile, which is the middle. The next thing I have is this white sun hat. And I actually wear this all the time to the beach. This is my go-to beach hat just because it has so much coverage. Like it literally covers your entire face. And I just love it. It's also really elegant so you can dress it up or dress it down. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Although I do need to get a new one because I could see them like coming up. There's like tweed coming undone. But for it's still good for now. So I'm going to put this in the yes. I'm going to just keep this. Um, this hat that I got from Forever 21 when I was like trying to be a chic LA girly. And I like it because it's pink, obviously, <laughs> dusty rose. And then I like the velvet like tie on it. And I'll be honest with you guys, I maybe worn this like three times. I really haven't gotten a lot of wear out of it because I didn't know how to style this. The style that I was trying to recreate with this just didn't feel like me. You know what I mean? Like I still like the hat. I feel like I could find another way to style it. So I think I'm gonna hang on to it for now. Mm. I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it for now so the next thing I have is a juicy hat and scarf that I bought for Christmas haven't had a chance to wear it definitely is keeping oh also there's scarves in here so I'm gonna show you all that too I'm probably gonna keep all of my scarves because I only wear them I only have a few and I wear them when I go back home for uh, the holidays so I'll just keep them because I don't have a lot of winter clothes but I have this pink fake Burberry I'm gonna be keeping uh, this pink one that I got from Target. I didn't even get a chance to wear half this stuff. I'm gonna be keeping this because I didn't go back home last year. Oh, I've worn this so many times. It even has makeup all over it. I need to wash it. It's just like cute pink furry bucket hat. I'm definitely keeping that. I also have this like pink tweed beret. It's like a very pale light pink. Again, something that's not my style, but I feel like I purchased this for a photo shoot once and I did the photo shoot and then I just never wore it again after that. Not to say that I'm never gonna wear it again because I do hope and dream to go to Paris one day and wear my little beret. So I'm just gonna keep it for good lucks, you know? Okay, so I have this like little pom-pom hat. It's just a winter hat, regular everyday hat. Definitely need this when I go home. I have this champion bucket hat that i've worn a few times i love this hat especially in the summer because i live in california you guys and it gets pretty hot and i need to protect my face from the sun this is like a clutch um i have another bucket hat it's like a checkered hat i hadn't gotten to wear this that much and i'm planning on wearing it more this summer i love me a cute bucket hat oh so these are the type of hats like caps i go for i have this adidas one but it started to stain a little bit and look y'all again i don't know why i keep picking up the buckle hats i hate this buckle i hate this adjustable thing it's just so difficult for me so i think i'm actually gonna let go of this one like i kind of like it i just don't like the buckle i'm gonna put that in a maybe's pile because i feel like that one might have to go like a little ralph lauren 
um, polo hat with the like embroidered on it. This does have the Velcro at the back, but it doesn't have adjustable Velcro, but it does have Velcro. So I'm kind of like, hmm. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this one for now. I love it. I just need to reshape the lid to make it a little bit more bent in because I like my lids like really tight to my face. Cause girl, I, when I wear these, I'm not trying to be seen. I'm trying to get the job done. I'm trying to be in and out. I don't want to be seen. I'd be looking like a freaking celebrity with this on, with my little caps and my glasses. I don't want to be bothered. I also will be keeping this one, I think. Actually, I might put this up. Okay, I found this at the thrift store and I just thought it was so cool. It even has the original tag from the Warner Brothers store. You guys see that? It's like all brown and old. I need to get a light behind you guys. And the Warner Brothers tag and it is a pink Gilmore Girls cap and I used to be obsessed with Gilmore Girls when I was younger I used to watch it all the time and I thought that I was Rory I don't know I've just imagined all of these different things but I kinda like the little cute Gilmore Girls hat I normally wear my caps to work out in I don't really wear these you guys it's like an everyday outfit type thing I just wear them to work out in so I feel like I'm gonna keep it for now another bucket hat keep this ear warmers for winter keep oh this is another beret but it's like this white furry beret and it has some makeup on it but i think i'm gonna keep it anyway i just feel like these are really cute for like when you travel somewhere i don't know i'm gonna keep it i need to wash it though but i'm gonna keep it okay last but not least is two santa hats and i have a third santa hat around here somewhere I think it's in the, the accessories closet but do i really need three pink santa hats no and i only wear these obviously around christmas like i think we're gonna get rid of the princess one so i'm gonna say so or mm, i'll probably donate that one because the crown is missing and then i like having like different options of the santa hat this is like more of a glammy one and the other one I have is plain. I might keep this, the pink one with the snowflakes. What do y'all think? Cause I hate buying stuff like this around. I hate looking for it because it'd be out of stock. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of the other one. Okay dolls, so we just finished decluttering and organizing the hat bin and now I'm gonna turn around and get into the accessories closet. And we are gonna be starting out with my jewelry today. Typically I start out with the clothes but I definitely wanted to attack the jewelry first because you guys, I just definitely have a lot of costume jewelry. I have maybe one or two pieces of jewelry that are of any quality. And I really just want to focus on having pieces that I absolutely love and I absolutely know that I'll use. More timeless pieces and jewelry pieces of quality and not just quantity. I feel like right now I have a lot of junk, like I just have a lot of quantity of stuff, which nothing wrong with that because the industry I am in is entertainment. So I do have to dress up and stuff like that a lot but I want to have quality pieces of jewelry and speaking of quality pieces of jewelry and speaking of quality jewelry I want to thank Anna Luisa for partnering with me on today's video Anna Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that worked to elevate the everyday life of people around the world with earth-friendly jewelry that lasts. They continue to challenge the jewelry industry by bridging the gap between quality, accessibility, and sustainability. They craft their jewelry to stand the test of time, making sure you know how and where your pieces were made, and guarantee your purchase stays within your budget. Their designs are timeless, and the quality is unmatched. Their commitment to the environment never wavers. They use recycled materials whenever possible, avoid unnecessary mining and excessive markup, and ensure 100% carbon neutrality through certified projects. Jewelry feels even more beautiful knowing it's made with the planet in mind. Okay dolls, so here's the first necklace I got from Ana Luisa. It's so cute. It's like this gold rope chain heart that I feel would be perfect for Mother's Day. I love how dainty their jewelry is, how light it feels on the neck. Like it's so gorgeous. It's giving luxe. I don't know, I just think it's really cute and dainty. You can tell that they've put so much quality even in the clasp. The clasp is so different. I found it very easy to put this on. Like I struggle so hard with putting necklaces on. I have to like turn them around and put them on this way. I don't have to do that with this one. I think it's because of the shape 
of the clasp it's like an oval so it's easier to hook and also they do have little other chain links in there if you want it to make it shorter or longer that way it's really really pretty I love this one I think that one is perfect for Mother's Day I'm even considering giving that one to my mom <laughs> for Mother's Day um, and then this is the second one it's like this opal pearlescent necklace this one's a little bit different it actually doesn't have that clasp it just has the little hooks the little holes oh oh my gosh you guys i really love this one it's giving like cottage core royal bridgerton vibes like i don't know if you guys can tell i'll get some close-ups but it is like a pearlescent little i don't even know what you would call this medallion <laughs> um and it has a flower in there i don't know if you guys can see but it kind of reminds me of a locket but it's not a locket it's like cuter i love this one it's so dainty and pretty and i feel like i can wear it with a lot of things in the spring another thing that i absolutely love that i feel like not enough people mention is their packaging i like this now of course you guys know if if this was pink it would be much better if, if the bag was pink but i love this bag because it's all made of material so completely sustainable you can totally wash and reuse these and use them as like travel bags when you travel like totally it also has like a little hook here so you can like clamp it onto your bags or anything like that and the main thing that i love about this is the clasps they actually are magnetic you guys look watch that is so sleek and clean you can tell that they've put a lot of time and thought and design and quality into their brand so i really like this okay so yeah this one i have a little bit longer i do feel like these are a great layering pieces like you can wear multiple i probably wouldn't wear these two particularly together because they're already so decorative on their own they don't really need to be layered but you can layer these necklaces and they're awfully cute if you guys are interested in shopping any of these items that i showed you please click the link in my description box below thank you so much to anna louisa for sending me such beautiful pieces i love you guys let's go ahead and hop back into cleaning up the closet okay dolls so we are at my jewelry section and we're gonna start cleaning this out as you guys can see i have like bags hanging up here girl i don't know if you guys can see properly but this is my bags hanging up here i have like this little travel uh, jewelry holder that i use for like when i have photo shoots that i go to set i just bring like all of my jewelry in that so i can have options and then i have all of my shoes down here at the bottom which you guys will see a little bit later i also have like perfumes bags and shoes up there as well but like i said we're going to be focusing on the jewelry today so i'm just going to get you guys a little bit closer because i feel like why y'all so far <laughs> why y'all so far okay so yeah, this is what everything's looking like. Um, I hope y'all can see and I'm not like in the way. It is dark, but I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can. So I have like this little thing right here with all this jewelry on it. Maybe, what should we do? Should I just like take it out? Should I set it down over there on the vanity sink? Should we set this on the vanity sink and go through it? Some of the stuff I'm not gonna be able to show y'all because y'all can only get so close. So I have this little tear tray thingy and it holds a lot of my like random stuff. I have these little earrings that I wear a lot. These are like cheap, but they haven't gone green on me yet. So I'm gonna keep these. I have like this little ring. Let's just see. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry, you guys, there's like my, don't worry about my nails it's just problems with that but this is a, like the little ring that i have um it used to be purple but it started transforming into like this brownish color because i guess it started to turn yellow which happens with old jewelry or costume jewelry so yeah it started to turn but this is what it looks like it's a cute little ring a little modern renaissance ring but i don't wear rings like that y'all y'all know y'all see me i try i've been trying to wear them more and more but i don't wear them like that and i just feel like this isn't really my style so i'm gonna go ahead and say a no to this i'm gonna donate this another like little ring like chunky gem ring a lot of rings don't fit me too y'all that's why i don't like wear them or keep them i just feel like mm, 
it should go oh i have like my cuff i just wore this like last week this is like my little butterfly cuff definitely going to be keeping this but i need to put it in the gold drawer i have my jewelry organized by drawer so i have them like color so the bottom is pink the middle is silver and white the top is like gold and yellow more hoop gold and yellow green and blues just in case y'all are interested to know i might have to take this out and put this over there for y'all to see because i feel like y'all are not really seeing what y'all need to see um yeah you know what let's do a different setup because i'm not i'm i feel like this is hard for me to like take each one out and like do like this and that when i can just set y'all down yeah let's switch up this okay you guys i feel like you can see the jewelry a lot better from here and it's just like a lot better of a setup so here's a little tray and it just has like tons of rings i would say on this as well on the top so I have this butterfly ring. I love this ring. And I think I have a few more wears out of it. So I'm going to say keep this ring. I really don't like it doesn't really fit me. So I'm going to let that one go. This one, another like modern renaissance one. I actually love this ring. I think it's so pretty. But again, it really doesn't fit. Well, it fits my first finger. Ooh. It fits my first finger. I don't know about this one. I'll keep it for now, but I might change my mind. And also, don't mind this nail. I got glue all over me because I don't even want to. Okay. This one actually does fit quite well. And I do like it only because it looks like lace. And I like that. Um, where would I wear this to? Not sure, but I'm going to keep it for now. This one kind of reminds me of a ring for a man honestly um and I don't mind it because it's giving gangsta but it's just too big for me so that one go Ooh, this is supposed to be a fake engagement ring and wedding ring I don't know I kind of like it whenever I want to feel like I'm married I don't know not that I ever want to feel like that but yeah Oh, this little opal one. I'm trying to see. I don't know, you guys, but this is what the ring looks like. I hope it's you guys can see it, but it's like a little opal ring. I actually like this ring a lot, but it doesn't fit any of my fingers, girl. Like, it don't feel none of them. I don't know. I think I'm going to let it go. Oh, this ring? This one might fit. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a half ring that fits here anyway. I'm gonna let it go. These also fake engagement ring situation. Somebody's wife just lying to them so they don't bother you. That gets men all the time. But honestly, people don't even care when you have on rings anymore. They like, they don't care if you're married or not. I have this little pink one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. <clears throat> Another like opal ring. I'm gonna let that one go. I already know I don't want it. It's not my style. This one is like a crown. It looks like a vintage crown. I kind of like it. You guys see that? I kind of like that. It is kind of rusty though, but it's also kind of cute. I'm going to keep this one. Another little old looking ring. I like jewelry that looks kind of aged. I don't know why. Like early renaissance. <laughs> I don't know. I'll keep it. Uh, and then this one, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. It's just old. It has like, it's discolored. This one can be cleaned and I'm going to keep it because it's actually a real sterling silver ring with a real, um, I forget what kind of quartz, rose quartz in there. This, my ex-boyfriend gave this to me, but I, obviously I don't wear it because it's from my ex. Not my current ex, but like four exes ago. But I still like the ring, so I want to clean it off and keep it. Uh Oh, this is like a little cool ring. I feel like... This is giving like superhero, but again, a ring that kind of like doesn't really fit. If it's my first finger, 
I don't know about this. I feel like if I wanted to be basic, I could do something like, I don't know. I just like, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna keep it for now. Oh, this is also a ring from that same ex. It's like a, um, a promise ring. You guys remember when those were popular? It's like a little promise ring. This can't even fit me no more. That's like a little, little promise ring. I'll keep it. I keep it. Oh, and then here's another little opal ring. I don't really feel like I need both of these. Um, I think they're both pretty cool, but I don't need both of them. Let me see. This is, I think, a thumb ring. That one's kind of dope, even though it is kind of broken. I feel it bent. Yeah, it feels like it's gonna break any moment. But it is kind of dope, like, to have it on my thumb. I think I'll, I'll probably get rid of it because it's, it's bent anyway, so. Yay! Um, oh, and then I have this pink butterfly ring I'm keeping. And then I got a while ago these like little twisted letter rings. And this is the R in my name. I had Z-U-R-I. I don't know where the other ones went, but I'm going to get rid of it. Because those start to turn so quickly. Um, oh, this one. This one is kind of similar to this one again like it's the same type of material and I guess if you stack rings they might look cute together as well I guess I can use one group of stacked rings a safety pin I don't know why um, and then just some earrings I wear these all the time and these as well like on a day-to-day -day. Um, just when I don't know what else to wear I will put them in but these are starting to turn green actually. So I'm gonna let those go. I'm gonna keep these even though these are starting to rust a little bit. I'm just gonna keep them because until I can buy a nice pair. Okay guys, so this is everything that we're going to be getting rid of on this little tier tray. Let's go ahead and bring out the next tray. Hey guys, here's the next tray that I have. This is just like my most prized jewelry, but not really, they're like really cheap. But this is my juicy jewelry and I'm not gonna be getting rid of this. I do have some earrings on here that I need to fix, like the pearls popped out, so I need to glue that one. But I'm not gonna be getting rid of any of this jewelry on here. Um, I'm gonna be keeping all of this so we can skip this. Okay y'all, so this thing desperately needs to be wiped off. But this is just kind of where I kind of organize my jewelry. I'll probably need to get a new organizer eventually as well, but this is what she is in. The bottom is all pink jewelry. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me zoom out a little. Yeah, so the bottom is all pink jewelry. This one is silver and white. The top is like gold and yellow. I have a lot of gold jewelry, so I have more gold and rose gold. And then green jewelry and blue and purple jewelry. The reason why it's separated like this is because again, I told you guys, a lot of the jewelry that I wore or purchased was for photo shoots and like shoots and stuff like that. So it was for creative things or um, stuff like that. So that is why it's separated by color because most often when I do a shoot or something, it has a color scheme. But I haven't done photo shoots in a really long time, to be honest. I might get back into doing them, but I just haven't done them in a long time. And I don't think that I'm going to need a lot of this, but we're just going to go through it. So I'm gonna start out with the first drawer, which is the pink drawer. And I'm kind of just gonna shift through these. I'm not gonna show you guys every single thing. I'm just gonna sift through them and shift, shift? Is it shift or sift? I think it's sift, like sifting flour. I don't know. I'm gonna move through these and just pick out the ones I don't think I'm gonna be keeping. So this stuff is all new, like the little, these are new. I'm keeping, keeping these. These doll earrings, you dolls love them, and I do too, so I'm gonna keep those. These hearts, I like them, I'm gonna keep them. These, I love, but they are extremely loud and obnoxious, girl. Like, you can't do anything, you can't hear a dang on thing when you have these on. Like, I, I tried to film videos with these, and I was so annoyed with the jingling in my ear, but they are very pretty, and that's good for like photo shoots and stuff, so I'm gonna 
keep that. What else? Oh my god, here's the other juicy earrings. I meant to show you guys this in my juicy couture collection. And I freaking slipped on it. Oh my gosh. I found them. I forgot about these. You guys, I put this down. I forgot to show y'all this in my Juicy Couture collection, but I have these juicy earrings. I'm definitely going to be keeping them. Um, it's like a heart with a dagger, and I'm actually going to put this with my other juicy jewelry. I knew I had them somewhere. Okay, so like I have these, which are cute. The only thing about this is I lost the little hook, so I have to buy more hooks. A lot of my earrings have that issue, which is why I haven't worn them, but I'll just find the hooks and put them back together again. I have these neon et earrings. I think these are cute. I don't know. I just think they're cute. Um, might need to get rid of those, but yeah. Another ear cuff, keeping that. I have like these little gummy bear earrings. I love those, so I'm gonna keep them. They're just fun. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I found another pair of juicy earrings that I forgot about and I should have showed you guys in the juicy couture collection. I'll have to do an updated one soon anyway, cause I got more juicy. But it's like these little, look at how cute those are. They're like little pink studs with the rhinestones. Okay. I'm so happy I did this declutter because now I'm finding all the stuff that was lost. So I'm going to keep this. I have to repair it, but I'm going to keep them. Uh, I have these. I've had for so long and I've done so many photo shoots in them, but they still come in clutch. And I feel like at some point they're going to make a comeback and everybody's going to wish they kept them. So I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. Okay, these. Oh my god, I've had these for so forking long. Oh my god, I can't even tell you how long I've had these. They're cute. They're just like little gummy hearts or like clear resin hearts with rhinestones on them. They used to be pink, but they turned kind of like grayish purple. So I think I'm going to let these go. Yeah, we're going to let those go. Um, I have these little teddy bear earrings. Going to keep these are fun. These little geometric earrings, I haven't worn these in so long. And I keep wanting to get rid of them, but I keep thinking, oh my God, you're gonna have something where you're gonna have to be 80s and you're gonna wish you had these. But bro, I ain't had no auditions that's been asking me to be 80s in a minute. So that's gonna that's gonna go. I'll probably sell those on Poshmark because they're really good. Have these little bow earrings. Love these, classic. They do need to be cleaned up. Maybe I will sell these. I don't know. Would you guys buy these pink bow earrings? I don't know. I'm going to keep them for now. We'll keep them. I have these like 80s lightning bow. And these are real vintage. I actually got these from a vintage thrift shop. And they cost me a little bit. So they are vintage lightning bow 80s earrings. I'm going to keep those. Because that could replace those if I had an audition. These little pink ones, I used to wear these when I went to um, to work, when I used to work in an office, girl. Why can I not? I, I can never talk, like I swear to God. But yeah, I used to wear these at my office job. And I used to wear this pale pink shirt with it all the time. Do I need these? I don't know. I feel like maybe, I don't know. Cause I am applying for jobs right now. So maybe I keep them. I don't know and then i have these little pink rose diamond drop earrings i just i don't think i'm ever gonna wear these i haven't worn them in so long and i just feel like i don't know when i'm ever gonna wear them so i'm gonna let those go i'm gonna try to let those go we'll see and then i have these little ones that i've never worn because i thought they looked cute online but when it came the like little tassel was so disoriented i was like i don't want to wear that like how am I going to get the tassels to be straight? I don't know. So I have to figure that out. I also have like these little cute lollipop themed ones, which I love the little novelty earrings because those are cute for like the holidays and themed videos and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep all of these, put those all back in. Pink drawer is complete. Moving on to the white and silver drawer. I like, by the way, just avoid all the hair and dust. Pink Easton hopped up here. She wants to be involved. This is the white and silver drawer, if I did not say. A ring. It's like a little stretchy ring. I'm gonna let this one go. I don't wear it. Um, these 
alien earrings i bought these and i wanted to wear them so bad but i just haven't had a chance to wear them y'all let me give my baby some water get your booty out of the camera don't mind my daughter in the background sipping but i think i'm gonna keep them because i want to wear them at least once before i like get rid of them i have these like heart shaped silver earrings I like those and i have these earrings that kind of is giving me like marie antoinette i don't know i wore these for work when i worked at office shop i don't really have a use for them now where's the other one by the way because if the other one's not in here i'm getting rid of it because honestly i have a lot of earrings that don't have matches and i'm just keeping them anyway and i'm like girl why are you keeping these earrings without matches where is it i don't see his match he might have to go oh there it is okay so we'll keep them i also have this one which is diamond square i used to wear these a lot it is turning green so i think i'm gonna let it go i don't know where the other one is though that might be one of those that don't have a match i also have these like little playboy earrings <laughs> like little bunnies when, oh there it is here's the other match so i'm gonna let that go pinky don't mess with this and i have a lot of silver hoops so we can let some of this go these I remember when I was obsessed with these. I had so many earrings this style. I do not wear these, y'all. I don't even know where I could wear these. Like, I do not wear these. I think I'm gonna sell them. I think I'm gonna let them go. They're a really good pair of earrings. Didn't tarnish or anything, but I think I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna keep the triangles. Oh, these, I used to love these little um what would you call this gunmetal earrings but i need to buy a new hook for one of them that's why i stopped wearing them because it's missing the little hook i am going to be keeping this star sun and moon i have a set of those i'm going to keep those let's get to these freaking hoops i'm going to keep this these rhinestone diamond ones i wear diamond earrings a lot so anything that sparkles like i'm not I'm not getting rid of that <laughs> Uh, these little circles these are cute okay now these hoops like girl what's going on with all these hoops I'm gonna keep these I like the size of them I'm gonna keep also a size of big ones I'm gonna let these go because I already kept some similar this one doesn't have a match so it needs to go and then do I really need hoops this is this I'm gonna let these go I don't even really wear silver jewelry like that. Like I wear a little bit of silver, but I am more of a gold girly. I'm not a silver girly. So this is what we're keeping and we're gonna get rid of that stuff over there. Drawer number three. We better, we need to hurry up. For the majority of this drawer, I know I'm gonna keep. I'm not even tripping on this drawer because I know the majority in here I'm gonna keep. I wanna for one, get rid of all of the little studs because those are tarnishing. I know that for a fact. Maybe I'll take the backs off and save them. These, a vibe, a bob. I might not, I can't wear them every day, but they're a vibe and a bob. These I've worn so many times with so many outfits. They are tarnishing a little bitty bit, but girl, we got at least one more wear out of them. Let's see, what is this? What is that? This little, dangly dangly i don't know these little lion heads some of this stuff needs to go but i'm just not ready to part with it because i like it i have these little triangles girl stop with rhinestones i don't know i feel like that comes in handy for like business stuff like I feel like I'm done with this drawer. I feel like everything in here for the most part, I feel like I want to keep. This is a drawer I use the most, so I already know that that drawer wasn't going to have a lot of stuff that I wanted to get rid of. These. Oh. <gasps> Obsession. Oh my God, I probably should have wore that with my outfit today because this looks like a Bratz car. How cute is that? Yeah, I'm keeping these for a short And then I have these. I'm going to keep these as well. I'm a hoop girl, y'all. I love me some hoops. And I have the classic bamboo hoops. 
but the problem with these are they're tarnishing so i need to get new ones so let's let that go gotta let go of the old to get some new where is this oh it's over there okay, okay, okay. this is another thing i hate about freaking hoops is that they begin tangled okay anyways i don't know what that goes to anyways I have this baby earring, hoop earring. I'm definitely keeping those. I love these earrings. And I wore them too much. That's why I stopped wearing them. Because I was like, dude, I need to take a break. Those are the only earrings I'll be wearing. So, let's see. I have this, like, geometric one. Um, don't wear it at all. It needs to go. And then these hoops. I like these. I'm going to keep these. These really big gold ones. I need to buy another pair of these. They tarnished. So bye. Um, these are actually honestly tarnished as well. Like look at them. They were cute because they had rhinestones on them. But I can't deal with them turning green and purple in my ear. Like girl. Y'all trying to give me some type of shock thingy. I'm going to keep these. More of these studs can just go. Oop, I dropped it on the floor. Damn it. These are cute. I just got these recently and they already started tarnishing, but they're cute with like upscale outfits and like going out like cocktail wear. Oh, these pearl ear hoop earrings. I like these too, so I'm gonna keep them. And then the rose gold, I'm gonna keep these as well. I get rid of that little one. It's only one of him as well. I don't know where the other earring to this went. It might be in the other gold drawer, but it's like a star, two stars, falling stars. I love those. I just lost the other one, so I haven't been able to wear it. And then, oh, I love these too. These are my fake Chanel earrings. <laughs> Girl. Okay, so we're pretty much Gucci. I had to find that one. But, oh, and these are some of my favorite earrings. These lion earrings. Yes, y'all. I had a thing with lions. I had a thing, I had a moment of obsession. All right, that's good. Now this one, there's not a lot in here. Um, I have these, which I've worn recently, and I'm gonna keep them because they're great vacation earrings. I feel like my green earrings are like my vacation earrings. I wear them to like Hawaii and stuff. I think I wore these to Hawaii, the ones I'm about to show y'all, these little green leaf ones. Hawaii earrings keep those oh I have a ring in here I'm gonna get rid of this guy and then some green little gummy bears and then these earrings I wore so much I had these since before I moved to LA and the hoop or the hook on the other one fell off so I haven't been able to wear them but they're like the prettiest earrings ever they're like princess jasmine earrings okay that's all for the green now I'm going to move over to the blue. Oh my God. These I've had before I moved to LA, girl. They're like, like these are vacation earrings. I'm not getting rid of them because I know I can wear those on vacation. I probably wouldn't wear them every day, but with my vacation outfit, like my tropical vibes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Also, I'm obsessed with these. I don't know, you guys. I feel like my style is kind of like modern renaissance like post-apocalyptic modern renaissance i don't know if that's a thing but i really love like victorian and renaissance like fashion i really love that um these these earrings i probably will never wear ever again but these are the earrings that i wore to my grandmother's funeral and i keep them because i wore them to my grandmother's funeral so that's why and that was her favorite color teal so we all had to dress in teal and white and i wore these teal earrings with like a white dress and stuff so yeah that was her favorite color so i'm gonna keep those until i'm ready to part with them and then blue gummy bears because you gotta have every single color of gummy bear right okay so that was this little container now i'm gonna go grab the travel case that i have with the jewelry in it okay guys so here's a little travel thing that i have and it's not even full and i'm thinking about putting all of my costume jewelry in here going forward and then keeping my real jewelry in like a pretty jewelry box but anyways this is what we are dealing with so i'm just going to go through these one by one 
I'm gonna take this away because this is stuff that we don't want. Just lay her down. All right, so I have some hoops, two pairs of bling hoops. They're not green completely yet, so I'm gonna keep these. Oh, I love these. These are like tortoise shell prints. Uh, hoop earrings gonna keep those y'all see uh, what kind of earring girl I am I'm a hoopy and a dangly pearl hoops keeping I guess I can put this stuff back we'll organize it later um, and I'll show you guys how I organize it at the end of the video um right now we're just doing a declutter banana boat I call these my banana boat hoops perfect for a vacation I wore these to Hawaii You know, these earrings are so fun and cool and colorful, but I absolutely do not wear these. Like, these are also like vacation earrings in my opinion. So I'm gonna put them with the vacation earrings, honestly. Like those type of earrings are vacation earrings. Those are not earrings I'm wearing on a daily basis. Oh, I've struggled with these for so long. They're like these clear hoop de dupes I still like them. I don't know, I still like them. So we're gonna keep them these i love these but for one they're kind of rusting and for two they're like super super heavy they're not too badly rusted but i will say they are heavy in the ear and they are starting to rust so i don't know i think i'm gonna part with them but i'm not sure i have these like heart dangly earrings with bows at the end y'all already know like why y'all playing me i'm keeping these I feel like this needs to be a part two to this video. Like maybe the jewelry and accessories closet will be part one and then the clothes will be part two, you guys. <laughs> Stay tuned to see what happens because this is taking a long time. I did not realize the dangly pink ones keeping and also these butterflies. Like how cute is that? I'm keeping this stuff. Uh, I have these dangly butterflies keeping, duh. Y'all know I have a thing with butterflies like I love butterflies, like little acrylic rings, like chunky rings. I love these. Um, this one is like a brown, mocha brown one. I like it. Uh, I think I'm going to keep all of these, but I have this green one. This one that used to be pink, I got from Forever 21. It's now turning peach. I don't know why, because they're in the closet in the dark. Love, 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 love this one. I don't know why, but it's something about it that's nostalgic. And then these two pink ones, this one looks like a square. This one's just like a typical pink one. Keeping those. Okay, so in this one, I just have a few little hair clips. So I'm not gonna show you guys that cause I'm not decluttering that. Like I'm gonna keep my hair clips. And then I just have these two oops, little pair of earrings, like hoops with dangly butterflies on them. And it's in this rose gold color, I think. Mm, I think I'm gonna keep these because I do think I would wear them. I haven't though, but I feel like I will at some point. Okay, so we have a bunch of this acrylic earrings. They're like a whole set. Like I got three different shapes. Love these. These are my like vacation earrings as well. Like you guys can tell, I hope you can tell like what my vacation style is, my vacation fashion sense is. Like I love like little jewelry that doesn't look like American. It looks more ethnic, if that makes sense. I don't know. Y'all know, y'all can see. Ooh, I love these like little fake vintage Victorian earrings. Hope you guys can see not doing a good job at displaying this but i'm gonna be keeping them and another pair of like butterfly earrings with rhinestones on y'all already know keeping those and oh these are so pretty it has like a stone a crystal at the end with a moon and a star and a little pink mushroom cute keeping all of that by the way if i did not say Okay, now we're getting down to like the novelty earrings and novelty is kind of like character earrings and stuff for like holidays, like Halloween, Valentine's Day, Christmas, like that type of stuff. And we normally keep that type of stuff because we don't want to buy a, 
that over and over and over again because we only wear it once a year so it's like i'm not i just keep it so i have these little snowflakes everybody loves these i always get tons of compliments on these when i wear them for the holidays so i'm keeping them these i love but i haven't been able to wear them because one of the hooks broke off of them but they're like little presents cutie and these my mom bought me one christmas when i was in town we were at walmart and i was like oh my god those are so cute and then she gave them to me in the car she's like here you go i was like oh you got them there's like little cute rain deer and a santa claus hat and i like them so i'll keep them i'm gonna probably keep all of these <laughs> as well so we have the cherry earrings keeping them those are so freaking adorable i actually took those to hawaii as well i don't remember if i wore them or not but i know i took them these like valentine's heart yes ma'am keeping uh whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop these heart red heart lollipops valentine's day keeping we also have the pink lollipop hearts keeping. And then these new ones that I bought this year that are like dangly sweethearts. Say no thanks, boy bye, and go away. That's so me, right? So we're keeping them. And the last novelty on this side is these little orange gummy bears, which I'm gonna keep. Y'all know I like the gummy bear earrings. They're just funny, I think. And I love gummy bears, if you didn't know. I used to be obsessed with them. I used to make a little Instagram post about gummy bears like a long time ago. Anyways, <laughs> why did I share that? I don't know. I need to stop oversharing. These little ghost earrings for Halloween keeping. Like, are you freaking kidding me? These are Betsy Johnson. Like, they are turning a little bit yellow because they used to be like this silvery white color. But girl, you're no, I have to keep these um what next pinky's just down there these scream pink scream earrings love these i wore these after halloween because they're just so cool and cute and if you're a fan of scream then you're gonna love them. i think scream is a stupid movie but it, it was a nostalgic time period in my life when it came out so that's what it reminds me of so that's why i got them and i have this little set let me show y'all because the each earring is different which i love this but it's a set it's like a cat you guys see that little cat Ooh. no you guys don't see it because i'm dropping it all over the floor um it's like a little cat with a pink moon and a star <gasps> Keeping. okay keeping these as well they're like little pink ghosts and of course my little pink dice earrings i love that yeah i love that those are cute i wish i had real pink dice okay last pocket you guys we're toughing through this oh this is just a spider pin i have other pins as well but i think they're on like a, a bag so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with that that shouldn't be with the earrings but it's okay I have these oh my god these earrings are ancient these are my traditional Halloween earrings that I wear every single freaking year and I didn't change it up for the longest time but they're like spiders they're like um what would you call this duochrome it's not really duochrome it's more like a gun metal with a like diamond spider and a spider web love it keeping it there's the other one and then last but not least is Mr. Skeleton. Let me get his life together. Get together. Get it together. I'll put your other guy over there. Look, that's him. He's like all rhinestone skeletons. Is that like not the perfect freaking uh, Halloween aesthetic in, of your lifetime? I love it. So that is it, you guys, for this little pack. I still have my bracelets and some jewelry on my dresser to go through. So I'm gonna bring that over for you guys to take a look at and we're gonna sort through that. Okay guys, let's just go over this really, really quickly because I kind of already know that I'm gonna keep the majority of this stuff, but there's some of it that it just needs to go. So for this one, I love this one. The only thing about it is, 
front. The only thing about it is it's turning green and it's been turning my neck green and I'm pretty sure that is not like healthy. So I'm gonna take off my pin because I will be keeping my pen. I just don't want to keep the necklace. Yeah. So yeah. This is my little pen. This for Christmas. I will be keeping this. Um, but I'm gonna let this go because as beautiful as it is, it's just it's done. It's over. She needs to go. Oh, so some of these necklaces, bro, it's just like not. I feel like I have another wear out of this one. It has butterflies on it, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm like, eh, should I? I don't know. This one, I don't feel like I have a lot of wear left out of it. It's already turning, so I'm gonna let it go. Cause like, why hold on to it? It's just, just tarnishing, babes. Like what this, oh y'all. Oh, see, this is a mess. This is, okay, anyways, my little Africa necklace we're keeping. Like, are you kidding? Are you joking me? And then my Z necklace just fell. And it's the course of a lot of trouble. Like, oh my God. No, 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 no. Don't come off of here. Don't. No, no, no. I am causing a lot of trouble with, is it this or is it this one that's causing a lot of trouble? I don't know. This Z, we're gonna keep it, of course. This one, yes. Yes, I'm keeping her. She's a little bit tangled, so I'll have to detangle her. But she has all these pretty, butterflies all over is so perfect for the summer i have this like choker rhinestone choker which is pretty but again the back of it is tarnishing and i don't know i feel like her her days are limited so you're gonna put her over there this heart necklace this is gonna be tarnishing soon but i still have a few more wears out of it it's definitely costumey Oh, my 333 three, three necklace, babe. I forgot I even had this. Let me set this aside because I'm going to be wearing that tomorrow. Um, this one already started tarnishing like on the clamp, but it's just a chunky chain. Costume jewelry. Think photo shoots. That type of a vibe. So these are I'll be keeping. And oh, I didn't show you guys this one. This I wore a lot and I do wear it, but it's tarnishing as well. It's like a layered chain necklace with this little pendant. Uh, I'm gonna let that go. It's, it's old, it's tarnishing. My little ballet slipper. I haven't worn this yet. I got this for Christmas, to wear for Christmas. So I'm just gonna keep her and put her over there. Of course you guys hear that. Oh, this is like one of my good pieces of jewelry. Um, don't mind the endless in the back, but this is like one of my good pieces of jewelry It's just a Z with a heart and I got this for myself for um, Valentine's Day not this Valentine's Day, but the one before that and this is actual like I think it's like 14 karat gold So I definitely would keep in this one because this is beautiful probably gonna put my triple triple three necklace right in front of it because I'm gonna be wearing that one tomorrow this one is a heart my friend just bought this for me and it's so cute gonna keep that of course i'll just put it on here um oh see oh no 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 don't get stuck don't get caught don't do that don't do that oh yeah that's the thing about dainty jewelry though. It's hard to like store it cause it just gets caught on everything. This butterfly necklace is starting to tarnish but we have another wear out of her and I love her. I wore her so much so I'm gonna continue to work with her. These are like my Aries necklace, another Aries necklace. They're all like bent up together. This is discoloring so I'm gonna let that go. It's like black. This one, is this one? God, I just hate detangling these. Like, yeah, this one, the, this is the Aries head, but look, it's turning black. You see how the clamp is black? So we're gonna let that go. I'm gonna keep this one. Oh my God, this one turning green. <gasps> it's turning green on me already. Okay, well, we gotta let them go. That sucks. 
I love my Aries necklaces. Oh, I'm sure that this is not correct. Okay, more costume jewelry. Y'all see I like a lot of butterfly shit. <laughs> but another butterfly and pearls. Um, what is this necklace? This is, I think, an actual real piece of jewelry. Yeah, this is a real uh, piece of jewelry, I think, that I got from I don't know where, from whom. Y'all, I hate this shit. I swear to God. Like, this, this drives me up the forking wall. This silver heart pendant necklace that I am going to be keeping as soon as I can detach it from this other necklace. Y'all don't even need to watch this. Anyway, this is the other necklace and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to set that aside until I can like detangle it because it's going to take me a minute. And then this pearl necklace is also starting to tarnish and turn green, but it's still okay. I have a few more wears. This Z necklace is going to be tarnishing soon. So I'm going to keep it for now until I wear it out. Oh, okay. This one is an actual real sterling silver necklace that I have to go get cleaned. It's sterling silver, rose gold, and I forget the, uh, the um, carrots of the diamonds, but this was from my ex fiance and I kept it all these years. Like it's over a decade later and I still have it. And I plan on getting it cleaned. And, and then I got this. I don't remember where I got this from. I feel like I got it in like a thrift bag or something like that. But it's just a, like the oddest piece of like, <laughs> like it's just an odd like charm. I don't know. I just thought it was so unique and different. So I kept it. I think I am gonna keep it uh, for a little bit longer see if I end up wearing it uh -huh. oh this I wore this so much it's a leopard head or a panther head yeah, it was panther head with black gem eyes obsessed I had a thing y'all with with cats I have a thing with cats and then this guy I'm gonna keep Last but not least, this is something that I got for me and my sister for our birthday and we have matching ones unless she threw hers away. I don't know because I haven't talked to her in a while because she not answered my phone calls, but whatever. I don't give a fuck. Um, but it's just like a sister. My name is on it and it has charms on it and stuff like that. It's just like a sister, matching sister twin necklace that I have to get clean. This is actually real sterling silver and I got this from like, I don't know if you guys know, but like the, what is the place that they engrave stuff on? things remembered or was it things remembered i can't remember but you like get real jewelry and like they engrave stuff on it it was expensive i ain't gonna lie to y'all i did my big one with that and uh she better not have lost it okay okay so these are all the ones we're keeping uh and these i just have to detangle it from the one we're not so that's it for the oh i do have this like little lace it's like a, a choker. I don't know y'all, is chokers making a comeback? Because I don't know. I, I kept it cause I was like, okay, this is cute, but like chokers aren't in right now. But like, I feel like they might make a comeback. I'm gonna keep it for now. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into, I think I still have a jewelry box with necklaces and bracelets in it, like chunky necklaces and bracelets that are super, super old. So let's go ahead and hop into that one. Okay, dolls, so I pulled the rest of my jewelry boxes. I have like two or three more from the inside of my dresser. And I also have this little thing that I hold all of my nose rings and belly button rings in and i told you guys in the previous video i'm gonna get my belly button repair so i'm gonna save these i'm not gonna get rid of any of those but let's go ahead and open this one up and see what's in here all right these are chokers i told y'all i don't know if chokers gonna make a comeback because i don't want to get rid of these if they are a rose gold choker. I had a moment with chokers, y'all. I loved them. And then I had this like clear choker. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling like I should just keep them because they may make a comeback and I wish I had them. I also have this like black um, velvety choker. 
with rhinestones cute a pink velvet like it's like a lace-up choker kind of like a kind of like a corset style choker but for your neck like you can lace it up like this you guys see what i mean um and i have one in black as well because y'all know <laughs> your girl be wearing black <laughs> y'all don't know that about me but i'll be wearing black um and then this piece of lace choker i just thought that was cute you know what i feel like i'm gonna keep all of these honestly now do they need to be stored in here probably not i could probably find better use for this box um yeah i'm pretty sure i can find a better use for this box I'm probably just going to set these aside and I'm going to store them somewhere. I just have to figure it out. Maybe in here. This is the next one. Love this jewelry box, by the way. This is by BB, I think. Anyways, it was from Burlington. Uh, this? I used to love this. I used to be obsessed with this. But the rhinestones are turning. And I don't think I really have, like, anywhere to wear it to. I think I'm going to part with it this is all costume jewelry by the way also you guys keep in mind i'm an actor <laughs> and a theater baby and also a dancer so a lot of this stuff is for shows and stuff the thing i'm gonna keep her that's a good theater piece oh this one i really don't wear a lot but i have like this African um, gown that sometimes I wear for auditions and this looks really really good with the African dress so I just keep it for like audition purposes I used to be obsessed with this I used to wear this one all the time and people were looking like out in the daylight and people were looking at me like girl what are you wearing but I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this I just think it's too forking gorgeous to let it go like look at that you got stop I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't do it. I'll get rid of it when it tarnishes. And then this little one has stood the test of time. I used to wear this all the time for like uh, church when I used to go. <laughs> church when I used to go and like places like that. And I also worn this to work a few times when I worked in an office. I don't really know that I have any use for this. Let me see. It's cute. Cute. It's missing a, a strand though. Oh, I see what happened. It got stuck. Um, I don't know. I think I'll probably hang on to it a little bit longer. Okay, guys. So we didn't really get rid of much in here outside of this one. I'm just going to put the chokers in here with it. This box. Let's see what we have. Oh, uh, this is when I went through my rocker phase, y'all. I went through a punk rock phase. I'm talking about Green Day. I'm talking about like Avril Lavigne, like pop rock, not real rock, pop rock. But like I was just in it. I was in it deep. And your girl thought she was a little skater girl, okay? And I was buying everything spikes. And then I think over the years, I just kind of kept this because I thought if I have an audition and I need to be like, a little punk rocker chick I could throw this on for an audition I've used this quite a few times for auditions because I've had goth auditions before so I've used this now do I want to keep this do I want to keep this for auditions part of me says yes because the moment I throw it out I'm gonna get an audition that's gonna say punk rock or something and I'm not gonna have this but I also feel like and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments also feel like the era of punk rocker and punk rocker chick has kind of died out like you don't really see punk rocker girls unless they're like y2k girls that are also have like a little punk rocker um uh, even the goth girls there's not any punk goth there's more just like more romantic goth and less of like the spiky punk rocker chick i don't know y'all let me know but i just don't see it that much so i'm like I don't know if I should keep this or not. I don't know. We're going to put it aside for now. Okay, so this one I actually liked. And I would pair this a lot of the times. It's like another cuff with this. To just make it a little bit more girly but also rocker. Let me see, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. 
Is it even gonna fit? I should be asking myself those questions like while I'm choosing things. Like, but really girl, where are you wearing this? What, where, in what world? What are you wearing this with? And you don't even wear, like, I don't know, sorry. I don't know. I don't know about this. I feel like I should sell it. I don't want to, but I feel like I should. Okay, these blue beads, don't wear them, probably will never wear them again. But these were the beads and the bracelets that I wore to my grandmother's funeral that matched the little um, teal earrings. And it was her favorite color. So it's part of why I hung on to these beads because these were from her funeral. Do I need to hang on to these? No. Um, never gonna wear these again, ever. But I think it's just like a memory, like the memory of her. But I'm also kind of like, I have the earrings. Do I need to keep the earrings and the bracelets or can I let the bracelets go and just keep the earrings or keep the bracelets and let the earrings go? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it into the to-go pile. We're gonna see how we do with this when we go to post it on Poshmark, if we really do it or not. These are just like little hair ties, but uh, my these are for a hair texture that is not mine. So I wear them as more so like little bracelets. I think they're cute on the wrist. So I wear them like that, you guys. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna keep these for sure. I'm gonna just put those in there. And then I have this little bracelet, a little tweed and gold bracelet. I, the thing is, is I don't really wear bracelets. That's, that's why I'm kind of like, Girl, it's a cute bracelet though, but I just don't wear bracelets. So I think I can part with that one as well. Do -do -do. Fake pearl is always good for a cute photo shoot. Gonna keep that. And then these are my cowrie shell. I've had these for years. And sometimes I wear it for auditions, but pretty much never wear it, but I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I also have this little bracelet that's like, I was into mangles for a second. And it's cute because it's like gold and tweed, like a little twisty rope, but it just doesn't fit me. So I'm going to get rid of it. This one I'm going to keep. I got this one when I went on my first vacation to Hawaii and it's so cute. It's like this plum purpley color with like a little green and blue flowers on it and it's rose gold and it clips like that. I'll show you guys. So cute. And it's the perfect vacation bracelet. So I keep it for, oh, should I keep this for vacation bracelet as well? Maybe I'll keep this as a vacation bracelet as well. So yeah, let's keep that. And then, cause I don't have many bracelets. And then I also have this like little hair tie that I wear sometimes on my wrist as a bracelet. Is it a bracelet? No guys, but hair ties are the only thing that fit my wrist like a bracelet. And then you guys have already seen this today, these little beads. And I'm gonna keep them for now. I don't know. So what do we wanna do with this? <laughs> do we wanna save this or chug it? I think we should chug it. I think we should get rid of it. We're just holding on to too much and we don't need it. Literally, yeah, get rid of it. And I think we're gonna let the necklace go too. All right! I think that's all of my jewelry, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, we're done with jewelry, I believe, unless I come across another stash. For now, we're done and we're gonna move into my accessories closet again. We're gonna move back over there and I'm not sure if we're gonna start with shoes or bags. I kinda wanna just short out, sort out, what can I not talk? I kinda just wanna sort out shoes really quick and make sure that the stuff that's in there is stuff that I really wanna keep. Cause I think the shoes will be really fast and then the bags are gonna take a little bit longer because it's gonna be hard for me to get rid of some of it. So yeah, let's move to the closet and let's go ahead and sort out the shoes and the clip may be tomorrow <laughs> or it may be the same day i don't know it depends on how i feel after i eat dinner okay i'll see you guys in the next clip 
Okay dolls, that concludes this video. I hope this inspired you. I hope this gave you inspiration to do the things that you have been putting off, girl. Clean out your closet, clean up your room, do your homework, whatever it is that you have been putting off. I hope this inspired you to make a move on that. I believe in you. I know you can do it. I love you dolls so, so much. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me and my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. I do hope that you do subscribe and join the fam and make sure your dolls go dolls to the walls and hit the thumbs up button because it really helps out the channel i will see you in the next video bye bye dolls